Johan Duran was a Twins prospect, and he made his debut on April 8, 2022, at the age of 24, for, of course, the Minnesota Twins. The team he was tasked with facing was the Seattle Mariners, and he entered the game in the top of the fifth. He started off a little rough, allowing two runners to reach, and reach second and third for that matter. The Mariners already had a two-run lead when Duran entered the game, and... Mitch Hanniger stepped up to the plate with nobody out and two runners on. Well, Johan Duran struck him out on four pitches. The last being a 100-mile-an-hour fastball up and in. This was his first big league strikeout, and he would soon be known for striking out hitters this way. Next was Eugenio Suarez, who Duran struck out on three pitches with another triple-digit fastball. Duran repeated this on outfielder Jared Kelnick, but finished him off with a breaking ball. Johan pitched two innings in his debut, and he retired both with no runs. He started off his MLB career entering in a one-run game, putting himself in a high-pressure situation, and striking out three very good hitters on ten pitches. He finished his debut with four strikeouts as he struck out one batter in the top of the sixth inning. Now that is impressive. Duran is his unbelievable velocity and pitch mixing. Now velocity and pitch mixing are two things that can be hard for pitchers to combine. Some who have a really good fastball, they, they can throw really hard, will just lean on the fastball and become predictable. Uh, other pitchers that have amazing you know breaking pitches, they will lean on those. So Johan Duran, though, mixes up his pitching very well. But first, on his velocity, his fastball is leading the league in velocity, but his splitter is as well. So, Duran's average fastball velocity is 100.7 miles an hour, which, as like I said, leads the MLB. Now, what's even more impressing is his splitter notches at a average of a league-leadingly fast, that's not a word, but I don't care, registering at 96.2 miles per hour for a splitter. That is unheard of. Now, as for pitch mixing, he throws his fastball 47.4% of the time, his curveball 36.5, his splitter 13%, and he rarely uses his slider, only throwing it 3.1% of the time. So, like I said, velocity and pitch mixing, Johan's strong suits in his rookie season so far. Johan Duran's pitches are not the only jaw-dropping thing about him. His stats, well, they're not half bad either. So let's, uh, let's dive into them. So first of all, over 51 games and 61.1 innings pitched, he holds an impressive 1.76 ERA a 0.90 whip. So that is a whip under one. And if you didn't know, whip is walks and hits per innings pitched. Very important stat for especially relievers who need to make sure that runners stay off base. Um, his opponents are only batting 194 against him. So he is not giving up a lot of hits at all and not letting people reach base. Uh, he's tallied 78 strikeouts through the 61.1 innings pitched, and he is has a 11.45 strikeouts per nine. So let's say that he was a starter. If he pitched a full nine innings, on average, he would strike out 11 to 12 hitters a game. That is incredible. And he has only allowed 13 hits. 13 walks, and 42 hits. So that was Johan Duran, possibly the most underrated pitcher in the MLB, and a very good rookie, of course. Um, so this has been the first episode of our Rampage and Rookie series. We will post this um, every other week, maybe, depending on what our weekly upload schedule looks like. But yeah, it uh, was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you made it this far, drop a like and subscribe, and as a little final send-off, enjoy this video of Johan Duran throwing 103 miles an hour. See ya.